Hi, I'm Philip. I'm a synth programmer, producer, and songwriter. I'm here today to introduce you to Patch Blocks. What are Patch Blocks? Well, they are these handheld DSP units that you can program yourself. They can do anything you want with audio. They could be a tiny synthesizer, They could be a little sequencer. It could be a drum machine. It could be an external audio processor. or all of the above, everything at the same time. You can download the free software to easily install patches or create your own. You can browse the website to find help with programming or just browse presets that other users have shared. Patch blocks are battery operated. There's a tiny LiPo battery down here. You charge them with a mini USB cable. It's the same cable you use to upload the sounds to it from your PC or Mac. Every patch block has an analog audio input and output. You can use the included mini jack cable for the stereo inner output. And of course, for interfacing, they all have two knobs and two buttons. The buttons have LEDs underneath them. Now, what do the buttons and the LED do? Anything you want them to. They could be used to trigger a sound. The knobs can control a filter. The LEDs can blink in time with the tempo. Or you can even use the button and the LED as a tap tempo. As you can see, they're available in a variety of colors, but every patch block you see is exactly the same. It all depends on the software you upload to them. Uploading new sounds to your patch block is really easy. We'll use the included mini USB cable. I'll just plug it in here. Switch it off. Plug it into the computer. Switch it back on. And you'll see that the patch block mounts to the desktop as an external drive. I'm opening up the patch block editor software. And in the beginning, it gives me the option. I can either load a pre-existing preset or create my own patch. I'll go to the load preset page. Here you see a list of included presets. I can preview them here right in the software. Even emulate them. And as soon as I find one I like, I just click load to block. It's done in a second. I unplug the mini USB switch the patch block on and off and I've got my new sound already on the patch block.
We can really start having fun when we hook up multiple patch blocks together. We could do that the analog way by using the output from one and put it in the input of the next one. But every patch block also has a digital pin connector to its sides. Here's a digital output and here's a digital input. It outputs stereo audio, but also MIDI information between patch blocks. So here's a patch I used earlier. It's my mini sequencer. But it's actually outputting MIDI notes of a drum loop through the digital output. So I can take this one, which is a kit, plug it in, and it'll get the MIDI notes from the first block. If I change the tempo here, I've also got the audio coming in digitally over the interface. I can just swap this out for a different block. Here's one with a different kit. A beatbox. We can take it one step further. And add a third block. This one is going to process the audio coming through. In theory, there's no limit to the amount of patch blocks you can hook up together. There's also a brand new addition to the patch block family, and that's this one. It's the patch block MIDI. This means that from now on, we can hook up keyboards or sequencers, and we can control our patch blocks with a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI sequencer. This was a monophonic patch, but we, can, we also can have polyphony. Patch Block MIDI has just come out and we're very excited about it. It's going to open up a whole new way to interact with our patch blocks. I hope you're as excited about these things as I am. You can find out more at patchblocks.com where you can download the latest software to try and program your own sounds or you can look for Benelux dealers at more-benelux.nl.